In this video, we're going to talk about Spanish stem changing verbs, and we're going to talk about the O to U E stem changing verbs. So, Spanish verbs have two parts they have the stem, and then they have the ending, and verbs are classified by their ending, either E R I R or A R. So, poder is an E R verb. Normally, the stem wouldn't change, but in a stem-changing verb, it does. So the endings in present tense stem-changing verbs change just like any other present tense ending. So for ARs, it's O, AS, A, AMOS, and AN. For ER, it's O, ES, E, AMOS, and N. And IR verbs change to O, Es, e, imos, en. Poder means to be able to, or like you would say, I can, using poder. And it's a stem-changing verb. It's an O to U-E stem-changing verb. So in the yo form, it would be puedo. In the tu form, puedes. Elenea, puede. Nosotros, podemos, and ellos, ellas, ustedes, pueden. Now, a couple of things to point out is that the endings, O, S, A, Amos, N, are the same, change normally. The stem changed in four places, but it did not change in the nosotros. Stem changing verbs, they never change in the nosotros form. Dormir is another example of a O to U E stem changing verb. Uh, in the yo form, it would be duermo. Tu duermes. El e usted duerme. Nosotros, it's dormimos. And ellos, ellos, ustedes is duermen. All right, so it changes normally. O, E, C, I, M, O, S, N. And then it only stem changed in the four forms, never in the nosotros. Here's a list of typical O to U, E stem changing verbs. It's very important that you memorize these verbs, there's no rhyme or reason to it as to why which verbs are stem changing. It's just a matter of memorizing it. As soon as you memorize them, it's very easy after that because they all conjugate the same way. So you can watch this and other videos on my website at profadenim.com. You can contact me at srdenim on Twitter or you can simply comment below.